I'm going to be wrapping up my 2016 reading challenges. I am happy to announce that with about 45 minutes to spare in 2016, I completed both my challenges. I'll start with stalking Jack the Ripper. I finally finished it. It was really, really good. The ending I was kind of going back and forth about because I like had an idea of the ending, but then I wasn't sure. But then I was like, no, it's got to be that. And I ended up being correct, but it still wasn't any less shocking. There's a reveal that I had somewhat guessed. That's what I was going back and forth about. But then there's like another conclusion and the way it happens is just like, it's shocking in a way that you're just like, oh my gosh, I can't, I don't know, it's, it's, this book really surprised me because even though I am a young adult and maybe 50% of the books I read are young adult, I don't really know. I've never really thought about it like, oh, this is adult, this is young adult. I just pick up books I like and want to read. But there are young adult books that get on my nerves because they're too immature and too annoying for me. Just the sort of pettiness of it and the immaturity of the characters, I don't know. I get easily annoyed by characters. If characters annoy me, I, I can't do it. It's the same with movies and TV. I am easily annoyed. But this book was young and it was thrilling to read. But the characters didn't get on my nerves. I don't know. I feel like it had just enough maturity. And I'm really excited to see where Carrie takes the series. I've heard that like some parts of the story are going to be continued or maybe like the whole story is going to be continued but there's going to be elements from another sort of like monster story or something like that. Um, like this one was Jack the Ripper which is a true story but I, I think what she's thinking of is a sort of like Jekyll and Hyde, Frankenstein, those kinds of things maybe. I don't know, I saw that somewhere in Goodreads on her page and that really intrigues me. I think that that would be really cool. I would highly recommend this as a young adult book. It's gory but like not gory because it's just not that kind of book. I don't know, it's just... Honestly, this intrigued me about Jack the Ripper. I just can't believe this infamous serial killer he committed these grotesque crimes and was never caught. I can't help being curious about how he lived out the rest of his life and how his life ended. I don't know, like I'm just so curious about that. I don't remember if I brought this up in my last video, but I have this really cool 3-in-1 Nancy Drew book. I read The Secret of the Old Clock and The Hidden Staircase. It's such a great accomplishment to me that there's different authors in the Nancy Drew series because what they've been able to create is amazing. Growing up, I read Nancy Drew at every age. When I was little, I read the Nancy Drew notebooks. When I got a little older, I read the Nancy Drew mystery stories. I read, I think it was Nancy Drew Girl Detective. I read the graphic novels. I think there was like another series of Nancy Drew books that was for like the sort of older teens to young adult age. I just appreciate that they've made Nancy Drew accessible to every age. She's, you know, a little different in each series because some of them are modern, some of them are from an older decade, but she's still Nancy Drew, the girl detective. She's still that curious girl that all the girls look up to. I made my own little purse with my notebook and my bag for clues. I just, I don't know. I'm always going to love reading Nancy Drew because it's a very nostalgic thing for me to do. I'll mention these two next because they're both from the Love Inspired Suspense collection. I guess you could call it, it's not a series, I guess collection is the right um, 
word. This is Race to the Rescue by Dana Mentink. And Danger in Amish Country. This is a um, anthology. Marta Perry, Diane Burke, and Kit Wilkinson are the three authors. These are all Amish novellas. And these aren't like deep reads. They're just kind of like fun to read. They're short to read. They're not my favorite books in the world, but it's like a guilty pleasure. I didn't love the first one. It was okay, but I actually really liked the last two. They were good. And this one was really good too. Not like mind blowing, but they were, you know, nice short reads. Next up, I read this very special 50 years edition of The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe by C.S. Lewis. I tried reading this series in childhood and I don't know, I just couldn't get into it, which really surprised me because I loved the movies. Tried it again and this time I really loved it. I'm really excited to read the rest of them because I believe when I read them back in the day. I may have read the second book. I can't remember what I did because I remember a different start to the story, so I think I tried the second book. I read this one, then got to the second one, and I couldn't do it. But I'm really hoping that there's a full color collector's edition of all of them, because this is just so beautiful, and I would love to have the entire series of this special um, illustrated edition. So hopefully I can find all of them. The last two books I finished were ebooks. I read India Black and the Rajah's Ruby. This was a novella, so it didn't take me long at all to finish. I love the India Black series. It's about a woman who starts out as a prostitute ends up owning her own brothel, and she gets mixed up in the British government and goes on these spy adventures. It's usually her teamed up with this British spy named French, and their relationship is hilarious. They fight like cats and dogs, but you're like, oh, they're gonna end up together. <laughs> I just really love this series. and. It was a short story, but it was still really good. And then, my triumph of 2016, I finally finished Ben-Hur, The Tale of the Christ. So, this book probably took me half of the year to finish. Not because I didn't necessarily have the time, but it was really wordy, and by the end, I just wanted to be done. If you don't know this already about me, I rarely put away a book without finishing it. Even if I hate it, I just like finishing what I start. And also, there's always a slim chance that the book gets better. Don't quote me on this, but I could possibly count on all ten of my fingers how many times I've put a book down in my 23 years of life. There were parts that I really enjoyed, but Unfortunately, that probably makes up less than 25% of the book because it is a long book. I just think that there was way too many words. <laughs> there were certain parts that were described that I didn't feel were necessary. Maybe that's just the author's style, but it's not something I enjoy reading. And the language at times was just hard, like, ugh, get to the point, you know? I just, I don't know. Maybe I'm too dull and dumb for this kind of book, but it just wasn't something I enjoyed. Like I said, there were parts that I legitimately enjoyed. I really enjoyed the section of the book that took place on the ship. The chariot race was really exciting. The end was really beautiful, but I feel like at that point I was so ready to be done. It was New Year's Eve, it was like 11 p.m. and I was just totally done. I actually fell asleep. To be fair, I worked. <laughs> I tried, guys. I really did. 
but I just don't think this is a book that I will be purchasing a physical copy of because I got it for free on Amazon. If you want to see all the books I read in 2016, I will leave the link to my Goodreads account down below. Quickly, I will go through the Modern Mrs. Darcy 2016 Reading Challenge checklist to remind you of what I read in each category. Published this year, Stocking Jack the Ripper, Finish in a Day, The Wonderful Wizard of Oz, Meaning to Read, Gone Girl, Recommended by Bookseller or Librarian, A Series of Unfortunate Events series, Should Have Read in School, Ben-Hur, A Tale of the Christ, Chosen by Spouse, Partner, Sibling, Child, or BFF, Harvest of Rubies, Published Before You Were Born, The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings Trilogy, Banned at some point, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, Previously Abandoned, The Elixir Trilogy, Own But Never Read, An Expert in Murder, Intimidates You, Pride and Prejudice, Already Read At Least Once, Sisters of the Quilt Trilogy. There were a lot of times when I decided that I was not going to do any reading challenges in 2017, but I ultimately really enjoyed doing it. So, I'm going to be continuing and doing the Modern Mrs. Darcy 2017 challenge, as well as pledging on Goodreads. This year, I increased the number by five, so I pledged to read 50 books. So, look for a video about those two reading challenges and what I'm planning on reading. That will be up very soon. I will leave links to all of my videos that had to do with the 2016 reading challenges. I will also, as I said before, have a link to my Goodreads account. Please don't be afraid to get involved in the comments and let me know what books you read in 2016, what were some of your favorites, what were some of the books that you didn't enjoy. I would love to continue this discussion with you. If you enjoyed this wrap up, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that red button down below to subscribe and become a member of my YouTube family. I will see you in my next video. Bye!